I recently made a video talking about some of my favorite Koza games that I like to play when I'm going through some mental health issues. I do like how that video came out, but unfortunately the day that video came out, I bought a game that I guarantee you should have been on that list. So consider this a bit of a follow-up video, I guess. Unpacking is a very zen puzzle game developed by Witchbeam, published by Humble Games. I learned about Unpacking on Twitter from my Twitter bestie Puddlecore, part here. She recommended the game to me, and from looking at gameplay, I thought the visuals were absolutely stunning, because you can't go wrong with a nice 16 to 32 bit game. However, the idea of a whole game being about unpacking seemed really weird to me in concept. I'm not really big into the whole simulation games. I've never played stuff like PC Building Simulator, Goat Simulator, and so on. But this game seemed interesting enough, and I mainly bought it because I thought it was pretty and the music was nice. I recently picked the game up just to give it a shot. I enjoy a nice cozy game and all, and I can safely say that Unpacking fits that quota of what I like in a cozy game. It's pretty looking, the music is nice, relaxing, the gameplay is fun, and a lot more. Unpacking is incredibly simple, as the name itself pretty much gives you the whole gist of the gameplay. You're literally unpacking things and placing them into the rooms you're given throughout, you know, each level. So, for example, you'll usually have, like, a bedroom, a kitchen, a bathroom, and so on. And the trick is to place every item in the room that's supposed to be in. And the thing that I think is cool about it is... Sometimes you'll have an item in the kitchen, for example, and that item will actually be supposed to be in, you know, the bathroom. So you have to figure out exactly, like, which item is supposed to be where it's supposed to be. And I, I like that idea, because I think when I originally got the game, I thought it's just going to be items in the room it's supposed to be in. It's going to be incredibly easy, because it's such a cozy game. And while unpacking isn't long, you can beat this game in about two to three hours if you know what you're doing. It does have its difficult moments, which I think is really cool, because this is not a game that I thought would be difficult. Obviously, you know, the first play that you play through, you're going to have a more harder time playing through it, but when you're playing it again, you're not going to have as hard as a time. It is a really short game. Like I said, it's maybe two or three hours. You can actually beat it less than that on like, playthroughs after the first one. But it does tell a really interesting story as you're following the life of this girl as she grows up to be... You know, from a little kid to an adult, and while it doesn't have a lot of story, the story at the end has a really sweet and, you know, wholesome payoff, I think. If I had one criticism for this game, it's that sometimes you don't really know what certain items are, so you may have trouble finding out exactly where the item's supposed to go, so sometimes the items are kind of confusing, because I don't know where to put something if I don't know what it is. I wish the game had, like, a... Maybe like, if you press like the Y button, it told you like what this item is. Because while this game is pretty, there are certain items that I just don't know what they are, and I don't know where to put things if I don't know what they, you know, where they're supposed to go. So for the best example I can think of, there's a level where the character moves back home after breaking up with her boyfriend. In the game, wants you to hide a picture of them as a couple, but you're never really given a hint of what to do with this. And you're supposed to, like, place it in the shelf so you can't find it, so, you know, she's act like it's not there. Thematically, that's really cool, but, like, I don't really know, you know, on your first playthrough, what am I supposed to do with this? I had to look that up, because I sat on that level for a good 30 minutes, because I was like, I don't really know what to do. It threw me for a bit of a loop while playing it. It's a one-time thing in the game, but it's still kind of annoying. And that being my one big criticism should really say a lot. Unpacking is super cozy and fun to play. You can easily you know, pack a lot of time into this game, pun not intended, but it's helped by the very comfy music along with the really sweet and adorable credits theme. Slowly, slowly, our things combine. Your favorite stuffed toy right next to mine. Our prized possessions in a prime location on the bedroom shelf. i uh -huh.
Unpacking is currently $19.99 and available on the Nintendo Switch eShop, PSN Store, and PC. So if you want to get on Steam, and I'm assuming it's on the Epic Store as well, you can get it on that. I do think $19.99 is a pretty big asking price for this game, mentally, but it is really fun. While it's short, if you want a nice, cozy game to play, just to relax, or to experience something that's, you know, really different from normal games, you know, I, I really do recommend unpacking. I really enjoy my time with it, so... You know, I recommend it a lot. If you have, you know, time to kill, and you got $20 to waste, or, you know, the Steam sale's coming up soon, you can do that. Whatever works for you. It's a fun game. I, I do recommend it a lot if you want something really cute to play. If you have any other cozy games you can recommend to me to play, I am all ears. I love cozy games. You know, I'm never going to turn out a nice cozy game to play. It's what I do, you know, when I'm in bed at night or just trying to chill. I really appreciate it, so please either let me know in the comments or on Twitter, I really do appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and have a fantastic day.